Okay, hello everybody. I'm, my name is Marc Vizina. I work for the RECI, which is the network for the development of student skills through technology. And we always, in every Voc Talk Cafe, we always take a few minutes to go over some education technology angle. And uh, today I decided to go for tips for a greener digital classroom. Uh, and we've talked about green, green literacy before. And my first item is to realize that our usage of technology of digital technology and education is has an environmental impact uh, i'm not going to over go over the details of this now because i want to keep it short but there's a link to an article that kind of explains all of it the title is very dramatic as how ed tech is killing us all um <laughs> amongst the strategies that one can use uh make sure that the technology is used with intent and purpose, not just for the sake of using tech. That will reduce the, um, I've seen the recently on social media, uh, I think it was a Utopia where I had a post saying, like, don't spend time trying everything new. Like, make sure that you go for your um, pedagogical uh, objectives. Uh, then extend the device, the lifespan of the device. You can wait, delay changing for a new device or, you can have uh, the school's old laptops refurbished into Chromebooks that can be used in pretty much every uh, um, community. There's a inter social integration so, uh, organization or even in uh, adult ed centers. The link to the ones that, that I put in the slideshow is, for, is in uh, Huntingdon. That you can look up recycle e waste. Of course, we don't throw that in the garbage. And here's something that we can do on a daily basis is reduce email size. Uh, if you keep all your old messages because you're allowed, well, you're using server space and energy somewhere. Uh, using cloud storage instead of sending attachment, because if you put, let's say, a PowerPoint in an email, every time it travels, it uses more energy, whereas if it's on the cloud, it's not being sent and resent anymore. Uh, if you do need to put an attachment, take the time to compress it. Avoid images in your email signature, because every time you send an email, you're sending more data, um, or and every time you reply, and of course, unnecessary messages can be avoided. For example, replying to all when it's not necessary, or it's just sending a thank you note because you have actually received a document. We all know we're polite. It's not part of the uh, etiquette. And lastly, I wanted to share with you something I've discovered today, uh, finishing the research. Well, you know, like, why wait? Uh, 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 is a search engine called Ecosia that is uh, that is committing to using their profit to plant trees instead of uh, feeding the good Google uh, and other and, and Yahoo search engines. I tried it a couple of times. Uh, like Robin, I come from the cooking world, so I search for recipes to see if I, my favorite websites would pop up, and it seems to be doing good. And I also uh, search for to see if anybody was accusing them of being of greenwashing and putting only a green label on them. And the good, the good New York Times magazine mentioned them without accusing them of being greenwashing. So that might be an option. Go in your browser option and change the by default search engine for something that is less consumer oriented and a little bit greener.